All right, what's good with y'all? I saw some of y'all struggling to try and beat Layer 241, so I said, you know what? I'll make a video for y'all. So I got you right here. Whole entire Layer 2 Floor 1 tutorial right here. Everything. Next video I'm going to be making is the candle tutorial for all the get wax. So peep that when it comes out. And yeah, let's just get straight into it. Entire Layer 2 Floor 1, let's get it. All right, just in case y'all don't know, you come over here, you say, I'm ready. You step on the dialogue. And hit a little, hit a little dance for Show or a show. All right. When you load in, you're gonna see this at light hook. 20 minutes left. All that light hook is. If you get, if you die within that 20 minutes, you're gonna get safely sent up. Nothing's gonna change. But if you die after that 20 minutes, you're done. And if you want to escape, you just click it, hold it out, and then click it again, and you escape. So you're spawning facing this way. Turn around and just run this way. Bust a quick left. Come up here. And then jump over this area. Come over to this little light right here, pick it up. And if you have dash, you can just do that. But if you don't dash, just come back the way you came and come through that middle path. Come over to this area, to this door, and to come up to the door. Press E on it, it's gonna open up. You gotta wait for that. And also keep in mind this is a hell mode build so i am going to do a lot of damage to monsters in like one shot not one shot but do a lot more damage than y'all will probably do if you're on like a normal build just keep that in mind we're just gonna go straight out here this wind a thing you definitely want to be careful of so a way to beat the wind see which way it's pushing you back and once you find out which way it's pushing you back just hold w towards that and you can hold another direction like go with it but just hold w and face the wind or else you'll get knocked back and fly into the void or something just follow the way I'm going through here. And go straight up this. Climb up this ladder. Glitchy ass ladder. This part is kind of tricky just because of the wind. So make sure you already go through your wind. It's like a little cooldown on how like how much wind you can get in like a certain amount of time. So like rock the wind first and then make your jump over. Slide all the way down here. We're gonna go straight, take the straight route. And then up here we're gonna face our first monster that we have to kill. Which uh, I will admit it's a little difficult. Just if this is like your first time. Make sure to go right here. Go to the corner and climb up so you don't get hit by these traps. And don't go in that snow. And then this snow that's on me, this actually isn't snow, it's parasites. And so we'll get into that after we fight this boss. Just know this shit is not snow. Boss will summon right here. And then you just want to get to killing it. Put that in your sacred field if you have it. He has a charge attack, a bone throw attack, and then a bone spring attack. Here's the bone spring. Then he has that dodgeball attack. It gives you that little audio cue. That's when you roll. Another one. You can parry it. You just have to have a high posture. Now you can you can parry all of them, then roll the second one. You can parry that uh, shoulder bash, or you can roll it. Up to you. But after you kill this, keep going straight through here. You don't need to talk to them unless you really want to. I'd recommend not because you don't want to waste time. Take a right. Come up here. Get right here. And then just climb up. If you want, probably put away your weapon and then dash to the top. It'll give you a little fire. Generator. Press E on it. Press 1 twice. Turn that shit on. Come right over here. Drop back down. And then come straight through here. Remember, here, be careful, things will fall on you. But yeah, going over that snow again, the next part we're going to is the lanterns to get rid of these parasites, because this is not snow. You have about five minutes in layer two before the parasites kill you. It's around five minutes, I don't know if it's exactly that, but I'd recommend not risking it. So this, these parasites, they will kill you eventually. And the, like every time this wind's happening, you're getting them on you. Every time you get hit by a monster, you're getting them on you. And it just accelerates it. So you come in here, press E, get all that shit off you. 
just to recap, we went through that middle path. We came up, get out to here, come in here, press E on it, get the parasites off you, come through here, and we're gonna go straight out to this path. Slide all the way down. There's gonna be divers on our left, so we're just gonna go here, plus the right. So you take a quick left through here, and then go straight forward up this. Now here you want to be careful, the wind's going to be slowing you down, and there's going to be divers and carbuncles chasing you, I got lucky this time. Once you get here, take a left, and you're just going to go straight down, oh shit, okay, don't let that happen, it's not really a big deal though. Straight down this generator area, there will be a bounder, so be careful if you get hit off. If you go straight down the generator, you should be fine. We're straight into these tunnels, and take a right. And now once you're in these tunnels, you're going to take another right. Be careful, the spikes are going to fall. Hug the wall. Take another right. In this pitfall, you want to fall down this. This is what you have to go down. You're going to go straight to this little room right here. To come to this left middle area, this little snow pit, if you will. Jump over. Take a right. Take a left. Take another left. And go down the steps. And now you're going to want to jump straight down in here, press E on the spear, press 1 and get out pretty quick so you don't get hit. And now we're literally just going to go back up the stairs. This area is really gl glitchy for some reason, but just get around it, come back up the stairs. And then take a right. Straight out, come back to the pit, get over it, we're going to take a left. And take a right next to this gate, take a left. And go straight down here. There's going to be spikes in the bounder there, so be careful. Roll the spikes. Take a left right when you get to the end of it. Be careful of that bounder. Once you get to the end of this hole, climb straight up, like Travis Scott said. And then turn around and go this way. Take a right to this blue cube. Another right. This is a pitfall, so be careful. Just get across it fast. Take a left. Get to this and turn left. And once you see that gate, go down. Take a left, dodge that, keep going straight, and climb straight up. So once you see that pit go straight up, reverse, jump over, and you'll see these divers over here. You can kill them if you want, but if this is your first time, I'd recommend not killing them, because you kind of got to be going fast. Now the thing is, if you kill these, they drop a chest, and from that chest you can get THE real blade, and that axe that everybody wants. So yeah, if you really want to, you get this. You get kind of mid loop, probably. You're gonna after that, you take a right, go straight to this blue cube, and then on your right there'll be a button. Press the button. Door will open. Lantern behind the door. Throw your parasites. You go straight out. Take a left. Climb up here. Come onto this first little snow thing. Come up to the second. Come up to the third, and you're in the city. Now in the city, you just want to book it straight forward. Take a left around this. Take a right, forward, get up to this NPC right here, it'll give you a card that'll let you see. And after that, we're just going to go backwards, take a left, we're going to go straight to where we came from. Pop straight down here. Here's where the gate were, the gate that we were at with the lantern. We're just going to go straight, left, right, left, hop over the pit, straight, then straight through this blue area. Don't talk to that guy. Now here's the part you gotta go kind of fast. We're literally just gonna go straight down. We're just gonna run through a huge bounder pit. So a bunch will spawn, but I'm telling you, if you just keep running, you'll be fine. I really, I usually don't get hit. Sometimes they like get wicked and actually start having insane combos on your ass. But most of the time you should be fine if you just run straight through. For this next part, you'll probably want to put away your weapon just because it gets really glitchy a lot of times. We're going to be running across this, and these do disappear after you step on them. So take a right. Yeah, these do disappear every time you step on them. So you got to go pretty fast. Go into this area, watch out for this bounder, dodge him. Again, get on this. You got to be pretty fast with this, or it will disappear. Jump on this, and then boom. Jump, jump. And watch out for this bounder. He'll usually throw a spear at you like that. But just avoid that. Go in here. Go down. Go up this. 
Only reason I'm leaving this in is to tell y'all, be careful when you're doing this shit. It is so easy to fall off and then you just waste your entire time. So I'll read it for y'all and this is the real way how you do it. Okay, after I literally died, because the parkour is like impossible at the time. Get in this building and watch out because there's spikes falling. Just jump on that wall, look straight up and climb up. The hardest part of floor one is literally the parkour. I, I don't know how, I always die. Like I always die just on this because it's so janky with all these like little clips and shit. I just, I don't appreciate it. There's gonna be a boner up here, so be careful. Yep, just be careful for that. Then climb straight up. And then you are literally here. This is Chaser. And now, a little tip I have for Chaser. You don't even have to M1 him. Start this, hit him once, and then run over to one of these corners and jump on this. And now, here's the boss fight. This is literally just stuff flying with the board. The whole point of the boss fight is to hit these little lamps that are giving him like blood. It's like the Ender Dragon from Minecraft. This, jump three times, jump over the rings. Wait for them to do something. That, you wanna roll. That parry three times. Again, jump three times. And then break that. And then he'll go down like that. If you want, you can go in and get a spit or do anything with a bloodless. Heal up. And then he'll push you away after like he gets up like that. And now you just get back to doing the lanterns. Usually you want to wait for the first like little attack and then you can go. So one, two, three. Just be patient with this, you can take your time. You hear that sound? Roll. You hear a little violin, something, guitar, I don't even know. Roll. This, these spikes are the most annoying one. You can't really do anything about it except it gets to the outside. And so yeah, just make sure you get in all of these. Jump over this three times. If you mess up one jump on this, you have to get hit by one. The hardest part is usually the violin and like the three. Yes, yeah, like that. It always messes me up because I like will go to parry when I'm supposed to dodge. And so if you really need a heal, just run in here, get your bloodless off, do a spit, and then get back out to the outside. It's really a lot of waiting, just being patient. Like this, spikes again. Nothing you can really do, except try not to get hit. Roll when you hear that little fiddle. That is a triple parry. You have to parry them all. If you like hold block, they will block break you if like all three hit. So you can like parry the first one and just block the other two and you'll be fine. Man, he is spamming this thing. Another thing, there is a rare encounter you can get where there's bounders in the area. So you want to be like, if you get that, you really got to lock in. So it's like six bounders all in this area. And they're literally trying to kill you as you're doing all it's It's insane. I say it might be impossible to beat. And getting up these little columns is really annoying. Because he's spamming all the shit. So you, you really want to wait for that attack if you want to like go up here and get low. For that triple shot, if you have ghost, you can ghost the entire thing. Okay, go in here, get your rapid bloodless spit, gel back. It's kind of difficult to do this when I'm talking because I cannot hear in game. Here's the second phase, just drops the roof, and this is easier now. All those attacks are a little bit faster. This is easier now because you can't drop the spikes, and that's really the hardest move. So again, go get all of these. Make sure you're being patient and watching. You don't you literally don't need to rush this? There's no reason to. So I'm gonna hit me with a little fiddle right here for the fire. Boom! Last one. 
It's gonna go down. Bloodless and spit to the outside. And we have two more of these, and then it gets into the final fight. So as you see, I'm literally not fighting him at all. Like I haven't M1'd him a single time. And I'm already in the second phase. Again, fiddle, dodge. Honestly, you can kind of tank all his moves. He doesn't do that much damage. So, like, if you're on a max level, you should be able to tank. But if you're on a lower level, like I did on my power 13, I was able to do it. You just got to be pretty careful. So, if you're on a max level, you have a lot of room for air. If you're on, like, a not max, you really got to kind of lock in. One thing I would do is, if it's your first time, make sure you're getting here within your light hooks time. Like, I still have six minutes left, and I'm in the tutorial. So, it's really not that difficult to get here in time. And then, I, we have about one more, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, this is, this is the last one. So, after this one, we'll be heading into the final stages of the boss fight. So yeah, just get rid of all these lanterns. It's kind of a... Alright, yeah, this is the final form. Jump right on one of these and just hold F. Jump on one of these platforms right here and hold F, and you're done with the boss. As long as you just hold F, you'll be fine. You know, just kill himself right over there, and you're good. He may do one of these to you, and if he does, just get on one of these and hold F. And yeah, that's the boss fight right there. You get a chest. If you go in the middle, that takes you to floor two, but... Go over here, get your enchants, get all your mythics, get your wind gems, all your gems, get all your guns, and yeah, after you beat this, if you don't want to go to floor two, come right over to this light, big light, and that's your light hook. Do not use this light hook, you won't be able to keep anything. If you go from a light hook, you don't keep anything you got, you just live, and yeah, that's a simple thing for floor one.